I mean, what civilization hasn't done crazy things? Even with modern society, there's always a sense of weird craze that happens, and in a few centuries from now, they might look back and say, what the hell was planking? And on this list, we will see the most wild things, like human sacrifices and slavery, as they were very prevalent in this time. Hi, my name is Jessa, and please join me as we look together at top 10 ancient civilizations who performed unspeakable acts. Number 10, Shang and Zhu Dynasty. Excavations of Shang Dynasty burial sites have revealed that the presence of human sacrificial victims. In some tombs, pits containing the remains of individuals, possibly sacrificed attendants of prisoner of war have been found. In the Book of Rites, a Confucian classic that is part of Chinese canonical texts include the descriptions of rituals and ceremonies during the Zhu dynasty. It's mentioned that sacrificial practices involving animals and sometimes humans, as the human sacrifices were seen as a way to communicate with the ancestors and deities. Archaeological excavations of the Zhu dynasty sites have uncovered evidence of human sacrifice. Sacrificial pits containing the remains of both animal and humans, possibly captives, or individuals associated with the deceased, have been found in tombs. Number Phoenician Civilization With the notion of the human sacrifice concept among with the Phoenicians is intriguing and has been subject of historical and inquiry, it remains an era where evidence is not entirely conclusive. Classical authors, including ancient Greek and Roman writers, occasionally mention that the practice of child sacrifice among the Phoenicians was prevalent. The most common cited source is that of the Greek historian Heteritis, who wrote about the sacrifices made during the time of crisis. However, it's crucial to approach these accounts critically, as they're often based on secondhand information and cultural biases. Archaeological excavations have uncovered evidence of child burials. In certain Phoenician contexts, some researchers interpret these findings as possible instances of human sacrifice, while others argue that the alternative explanations could just be a burial custom or natural causes that also should be considered. Number 8. Celtic Druids As again, there is more concrete evidence with the Celts engaging in animal sacrifices. Archaeological findings such as animal bones in ritualistic contexts suggest that the Celts conducted ceremonies including the sacrifice of animals. However, Julius Caesar in his writing on the Gaelic Wars mentioned that the Druids were the religious elite among the Celts and that they had a great influence in matters of both religion and governance. He suggested that the Druids performed human sacrifices, particularly around this time of crisis, inside large wicker effigies or cages. Other classical writers such as the Greek historian Strabo and the Roman poet Lucian also made references of Druic practices, including the suggestion of human sacrifices. But again, however, with these accounts are often secondhand and influenced by the biases of the time. Especially when it came to interest in occupying more land, nations would do anything to justify their wars to steal land from the indigenous people. Number 7. Mochi Civilization The Mochi Civilization, also known as Mochia, thrived on the north coast of Peru from around 200 BCE to 800 CE. The Mochi was renowned for their advanced artistic and architectural achievements. Well, I don't know that much of A's. While evidence of human sacrifices in Mochi society is not as extensively documented as in some other ancient civilizations, there are indications that ritualistic practices, including human sacrifice, were part of the religious and ceremonial activities. There are illustrations of warriors or priests holding severed heads or bound captives in sacrificial context as some of their larger ceremony centers such as Huaca de la Luna which shows evidence of complex rituals including the burial of individuals with signs of violent death. These findings suggest that the certain individuals may have been sacrificed during important ceremonies or events. Number 6. Inca Empire Yes, the Inca Empire is one of on the list when it comes to unspeakable acts in ancient civilizations, specifically, as you might guess, human sacrifices. The Incas conducted a ritual known as Capacocha which involved the sacrifice of humans, particularly children. These sacrifices were often made at significant locations such as the mountain summits or lake shores. The victims were carefully selected and prepared for the ritual, sometimes adorned with elaborate attire and offerings. Human sacrifices were often made as offerings to the mountain spirits known as Apus, which was considered sacred in Inca cosmology. The belief was that these sacrifices would ensure the well-being of the empire, avert natural disasters, and maintain harmony with the gods. Children were frequently chosen as sacrificial victims, perhaps because of their, you know, perceived purity. The bodies of these children were often buried in fetal position, and some were found with valuable objects and textiles. Sacrifices, particularly those involving in war captives, may have been seen as a form of tribute to the Inca rulers, showcasing the subjugation of rival groups and the extension of Inca influences. Number 5. The Ottoman Empire The Ottoman Empire, which lasted from the late 13th century to the early 20th century, engaged in various forms of slavery throughout its existence. The Ottomans inherited and adapted certain slave-holding practices from early Islamic societies and also contributed to the development of unique systems of slavery. The Mamluks were slave soldiers who played a significant role in various Islamic empires, including the Ottoman Empire. Mamluks were typically young boys, often from non-Muslim territories, where they were enslaved, converted to Islam, and trained for military services. The Ottomans employed eunuchs, particularly white eunuchs, who were usually from European descent, in the imperial harem and administrative roles, as black eunuchs, often of African origins, were also significant presence in the Ottoman Empire, particularly as well in the harem. The Ottomans engaged in the Trans-Saharan and Trans-Indian Ocean slave trades, acquiring slaves from various regions, including East Africa. The Ottoman Empire began to take steps forward 
towards the abolition of slavery in the 19th century, influenced by the internal reform movements and external pressures. Various edicts and legal reforms were enacted to limit and eventually end slavery. Number four, the Byzantine Empire. For the Byzantine Empire, they too also engaged in the trade of slavery. However, they had slaves for different industries, from domestic, industrial, military, agriculture, and so on. Similar to the other historical empires, the Byzantine Empire employed eunuchs in various capacities. Eunuchs were often castrated and served as guards, administrators, and court officials. Their lack of family ties was also seen as an assurance of loyalty as well. And the Byzantine Empire also engaged in the slave trade, acquiring slaves from various means, including war, piracy, and commerce. Slaves were obtained from regions around the Mediterranean and beyond. The Byzantine legal system had specific laws regulating slavery. These laws determined the rights of slave owners and the legal status of slaves and the penalties for mistreatments. The spread of Christianity in the Byzantine Empire had a nuanced impact on the institution of slavery. While some Christian leaders condemned certain forms of slavery, the overall impact of the institution was complex and slavery persisted for centuries. Number three, the Roman Empire. Slavery was integral to the Roman economy and society. Romans enslaved people through conquest, capturing prisoners of war, and through birth and enslaved parents. Slaves performed various roles from manual labor to serving to household staff. Human sacrifices, although it wasn't formal like the Mayan or the Aztec, but if you think about human sacrifices as a form of pitting humans against one another in bloody gladiator fights, it sort of counts as one, especially for their entertainment. See, Caligula was one of the Romans' most notorious and vicious tyrannical leaders, set off the tournaments and games as part of his yearly celebrations for his accession. For those those who were gladiators were taught to how to kill and die stoically. Defeated, who failed to obtain the so-called the mices or graces, could choose a way of death. Slaves were considered legal property or res in Roman law and had no personal rights. They could be bought, sold, and inherited just like any other property. Some slaves were granted their freedom through the process called manumission, and this could be achieved only through the will of the deceased master purchased by the slave or the decision of the owner. Number two, the Maya civilization. Human sacrifices was indeed part of the religious practices of the ancient Mayan civilization, which thrived around in Mesoamerica from around 2000 BCE to 1500. CE. Human sacrifices in Maya culture was linked to religious rituals and beliefs and it played a significant role in their worldview. Human sacrifices was considered a religious ritual with deep spiritual significance. The Mayans believed in a complex pantheon of deities and offerings, including blood offerings, through sacrifices as they were seen as a way to communicate with these gods, maintaining cosmic balances, and ensure the well-being of their communities. The Maya engaged in elaborate bloodletting rituals where the individuals, often rulers, or high-ranking individuals would pierce their own bodies to extract blood. This blood was then also offered to the gods. The act of bloodletting was a form of personal sacrifice and dedicating to the divine. In addition to self-sacrifice, captives from warfare or other sources were sometimes also used as sacrificial victims. These victims were often subjugated to ritual combat or other forms of ceremony before being sacrificed. The acts of sacrificing captives may have been associated with warfare, cosmological events, or other significant occasions. And finally, number one, the Aztec civilization. The Aztec society was stratified with a hierarchical structure. At the top was the ruler and the nobility, followed by commoners, artisans, and and slaves. Social status was often hereditary, and there were also very limitations on upward mobility. The Aztecs had a complex and polytheistic religion with a pantheon of gods. The god of sun and war held a central place in their religious belief. The Aztecs believed in the cynical nature of the cosmos and conducted various rituals, including human sacrifices to maintain cosmic order. Human sacrifices was a significant aspect of the Aztec religious practices. The Aztecs believed that sacrificing humans, often captured in warfare, appeased the gods and maintained the balance of the universe. Rituals, including elaborate ceremonies, and festivals were dedicated to different deities. Despite the fall of their empire, the cultural and artistic achievements of the Aztecs left a lasting impact on Mexican and Mesoamerican heritage. Elements of the Aztec civilization such as language, mythology, and artistic motifs persist in modern Mexico. Well, that's all for the list, and for the last video I was in, the riddle I gave was what is the end of a llama and the tail of a seagull? The answer is two L's. Now for the next riddle, what can be the same size as the world's tallest person but weighs nothing? I'll reveal the answer in the next video, top 10 ancient mysteries experts still haven't solved. And that's it for today, thank you for joining me, my name is Jessa, be sure to like and subscribe, and uh, yeah, I don't know, do something. Bye. <laughs>